we are just Kenyans united to resist oppression. And we are saying enough is enough. Stop the killings, ab um, abductions, and torture of innocent Kenyans. We condemn in the strongest terms possible. This morning's abduction of renowned human rights defender Boniface Mwangi from his Lukenya home, Machakos County, a man who has courageously dedicated his life to defending the rights and freedoms of all Kenyans. Accounts from his wife indicate he was abducted in the presence of his children early today by some men and a woman believed to be police officers and we now know they were and they were not in uniform. They did not identify themselves. They did not say why they were taking him away or where they were taking him to. We actually now know they took him to Kamukunji police station. But that does not excuse that behavior of going commando style like thugs, abducting people without identification and without giving reasons as demanded by the constitution. These kidnappings, disappearances and extrajudicial killings targeted on our youth mainly is now a signature modus operandi of the Ruto regime. These abductions and killings of youth is now a worrying trend and we demand that it stops forthwith. It has now become the signature modus operandi since the Gen Z protests. It has resulted in lengthy illegal detentions like in the case of Bob Jage, Aslam and Jamil Langton. And in some cases, it, it, it does not end up with long detention. It ends up with extrajudicial killing. You remember the young university student, Denzel Omondi, who was kidnapped during the Gen Z protests and surfaced in a quarry dead. You will recall that only two days ago, the barrio of uh, John Jogonakuria of Kapenguria, who was abducted, and within a week, his body surfaces. So this is the signature way in which Ruto is operating. We have credible sources who have indicated that there is a special abduction stroke killer squad, which is comprised of both police and army officers. And this squad, we are told reliably, is based somewhere in Karen, near the DP's residence, and another wing of it is based in Orepolos, in Kajiado. These people also are joined, and mainly this squad is drawn from Dr. Ruto's ethnic community. We are not saying it's all members of the community, but this squad is made up of people he has picked from his community. They are also joined, we are reliably told, by foreigners, fellow East Africans from Burundi, from DRC, and from Uganda, and God knows where else. A regime that finds it necessary to create a squad outside of official channels to abduct, murder and terrorize citizens is a regime that has lost legitimacy and that should be forced out of power. This targeting of activists, journalists and youth is a direct assault on our constitutions, on the right to life, principles of equality, justice and freedom. Kenya must not be a place where families live in fear that their loved ones may be taken in the night or any time of the day never to return. The right to life and liberty, as I've said enshrined in our constitution, must be upheld not selectively, not conditionally, but absolutely. I want to ask my colleague to go <coughs> on from there.